In California's beautiful coast, archaeologists discovered an astonishing artifact while carefully digging up a sand dune. The 300-pound relic, which seems to be from halfway around the world, was found at the Guadalupe in Nipomo Dunes, the most extensive system of faultless coastal dunes since the 1980s. The sandy expanse has attracted archaeologists for years as they heard rumors of a secret bounty hidden beneath its mounds. In this video, we will explore that the archaeologists explained how they had planned and dug for many years before finding the amazing prize. The Guadalupe and Napalmo dunes have been very fruitful in recent years, with archaeologists finding a lot of minor artifacts there. However, the dunes' most stunning treasure was discovered in 2017, which is perhaps even more interesting than the relic itself. The artifact's origin and how it got to the dunes are equally fascinating. In the 18th century, Spanish explorers, led by Spanish commander Don Gaspar de Portola and his expedition crews, spent the night on the dunes. 200 years later, the Guadalupe Nipomo dunes became home to a different group of people. Between the 1920s and 1940s, creative types, intellectuals, and even naturalists flocked to the sandy stretch, which they said gave off creative energy leading them to start a magazine. Despite the dunes' cultural and historical significance, it has faced environmental challenges. In 1994, it was revealed that there had been a spill in the area, which took the company until 1994 to admit and start cleaning up. Surprisingly, these cleanup efforts are still ongoing, with an estimated 10 more years needed to complete the process. Over the years, more people have come to realize that the Guadalupe Nipomo dunes are worth protecting. The first modern measures to protect the 18-mile sandy stretch were implemented in the 1970s, and cleanup efforts have been ongoing since 1994. The dunes also hide some natural wonders, including a natural reservoir, the ocean's edge, and expansive dunes. The region's distinctive photography creates a unique ecosystem that attracts more than 200 species of birds and the calico fox. Despite being entombed beneath the sand for decades, the region's subtle shifts have the potential to gradually but surely uncover fragments of the very antiquities that archaeologists have spotted with their radars. In 2017, archaeologists were allowed to dig into the dunes and uncovered the vast sphinx's head, which was in excellent condition. According to Doug Jensen, an archaeologist at the site, it was unlike anything found on previous digs. Although the Sphinx was located in modern Egypt, it was an unexpected and culturally significant relic of the past to be unearthed in California's Guadalupe Nipomo dunes. They anticipated that they would uncover something with an Egyptian twist hidden between the layers of the Sphinx. It should be underlined that to bring the biblical countries of Egypt to life, Demiola needed more than only sand. To do so, Demiolini had to use their imagination. A massive set has been built on the coast of the Pacific Ocean, and it features an incredible number of sphinxes and feral sculptures. There are a total of 21 sphinxes and four giant pharaoh statues. The production of the Ten Commandments required the labor of more than 1,500 people. But once filming was complete, their efforts were in vain because large portions of the set were ultimately destroyed by being buried under the sand. This occurred after more than 1,500 people were required to construct the setting for the movie. This has given rise to a substantial amount of debate. Thus, they had it concealed beneath the sand, as was indicated before. Powerful harsh winds whipped through the Guadalupe de Pomo dunes, carrying with them corrosive salt water. It is possible that nature was responsible for pushing the sphinxes, pharaohs, and many more supports beneath the high mounts. Whether caused by man or nature, the desolate set may have succumbed to the harsh environment and become buried beneath the rolling hills. After the disastrous oil drilling and ATV joy riding that has occurred in the past, the Guadalupe and Napomo dunes now have many safeguards in place to preserve them for future generations. This makes the task significantly more complicated than it would have been otherwise. When Santa Barbara County finally permitted Brosnan to carry out the dig, he had to wait several decades after initially requesting it. 
They found another one of the statue's heads, but it crumbled as they tried to remove it from the ground. When they tried to recover the rest of the statue's body, they found that unfortunately, it had also deteriorated after nearly a century in the sand. And that is precisely why the 2017 discovery of such a well-preserved sphinx proved to be so exciting for the archaeologists at the Guadalupe de Pomo dunes. The crew found that despite removing the extra layer of protection, the sphinx was still in good shape, with many of its intricate details still visible. This was a pleasant surprise for them. The fact that the Ten Commandments were written in black and white makes it all the more remarkable that the orange monument is covered in colorful paints. As Jensen pointed out when he made it a point to note those colors expressly, the Ten Commandments were written on tablets that were black and white. It is possible that it should not be surprising that Jensen and the rest of the Guadalupe and Napomo Dunes crew had ambitious intentions for the relic once it was securely brought to the surface. This is because Jensen has faith in the significance of the relic, so it is possible that it should not come as a surprise. After restoring the plaster figure to its previous state of elegance, they displayed it in the Dunes Center Museum in the heart of downtown Guadalupe, found in the U.S. state of California. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share and press the bell icon for more regular updates.